So this video is going to show you several ways to deal with, um, I guess, transposing data, but more importantly, turning wide data into long data. So this is an example of wide data, where you have um, numbers and pieces of information going across in the columns um, instead of um, being separate and separate rows. Um, very tidy data is considered to be have just one column of actual numbers and each row represents all these various iterations of these numbers and that's what's known as long data. So wide data works okay sometimes if you're doing some calculations like percent change or something and maybe that's the right setup for you but other times especially if you want to do pivot tables um, wide data doesn't work so well. So there are a few ways um, in both Excel, and, and I'll also show you a way in Google Sheets to uh, convert some of this. Um, if you're on a Mac, a couple things might be a little bit different. I'm using a Windows machine, uh, but here it is. So many of you are probably familiar with uh, the transpose function in, in the Paste Special. Um, so I'm gonna highlight my chunk of data and say copy and if, if we do that over here in this new sheet, I say right mouse click, paste special. And then when the box comes up, I choose transpose. This does not actually convert wide to long. All it does is flip what's in the columns and what's in the rows. It just flips it around. We still have long data. So this is not going to work for what we want to do. So uh, the 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 newer versions of Excel, which I understand is 2019 and earlier, has um, a, a Power Query editor that will allow us to do this. If you've learned how to import data in these newer versions, particularly of Windows Excel, you've probably used that Power Query editor, and, and it's going to look very much the same. So I have my data in this sheet, and I'm going to um, uh, put my cursor down here. I want to go to the Data menu. And under the Get Data section, Get and Transform Data over on the upper left, there's a From Table Range. And I'm going to click on that. And we'll highlight our chunk of data and, and say, My table has headers. OK. Now it is converted into uh, Excel's version of a table. And you'll see in the background that it kind of looks different. Um, and it now has, it's showing it in this Power Query editor, and there's all of our columns. So what you want to do is highlight the columns that you want to pivot. So we want to keep the year as our rows, and we want all these other columns to become um, uh, rows and converted down to the year is attached to each one as it goes down. So um, you have to highlight all of them and it's not as easy as in a spreadsheet, so what I usually do is, is shift and then highlight the first one and then shift and use my arrow key to go across and highlight all the ones I want, which is, should be all of them. You don't want to have anything on the right that you don't want to pivot. Try to keep it, you know, anything you want to keep as the rows. And you can have, it is possible to have more than one thing as, a, as your row, like I do the year. Um, and you would just make sure that is all the way over here on the left and that you don't have it highlighted. So now that I have it highlighted, I'm going to go up to the transform menu at the very top. And in the middle is something called unpivot columns. You'll see there's a pull down there with some options. We just need to say unpivot columns because we've already highlighted which ones we want to pivot. So unpivot actually. And we say unpivot. There we go. And now we have, you can see we have 1997 grand total. Uh, men, women, non-Hispanic, white, um, it's going down. And so then what you do is you go back to the home menu at the top. And over on the right, there's a close and load. And if you pull down on that, you do have the option to specify exactly where it's going to go. So I'm going to say close and load two. And then it'll let me choose. Here we go. I want it as a table in a new worksheet and say OK. So it's going to make a new worksheet and make it as a table. Now, if you, you don't want this as a table, you can go up to your menus at the very top 
and um, there should be, you should be on the one called table design, which it has added in for you now that this is a table. You can, um, while your cursor is in that area, you can go to convert to range and um, it will convert it back to kind of a non-table structure. It leaves all this color in here. If you don't want that, what I usually do is highlight it and go up here to the styles, which is under the home tab, and I just say normal, and it turns it back to a, a basic, um, uh, basic thing. So now we have long data, and you will quickly see that this is a much easier way to do pivot tables. Um, you know, a, a good practice in this particular situation might be to have a, another column that identifies men, women, uh, total, men, women, total, men, women, total, um, and then a separate column that has the, the race. Um, so you could do some different things as well with that. But that did get us going. As I mentioned, this Power Query Editor does look, might look a little different in a Mac, uh, and, but I do know that it exists, so you might just need to look up some directions on how to do that. Okay, we're gonna switch over to Google Sheets. So here's that same data in Google Sheets. Sheets has a way to use a formula to do this, um, which is kind of interesting, and I've been poking around to see if Excel has the same and can't find it. Um, if it's out there, please let me know. Uh, but what, what it does is it uses some functions called split and flatten um, to take ranges of data and convert them. And th this is the formula we're going to use here on line 18. Um, and I know it probably looks a little daunting. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Um, there we go. This formula probably looks a little daunting, but I I'll break it down for you. There's really three chunks of um, ranges in here that you need. And what it needs is the headers. So of the things we want to pivot. So that's B1 to Y1. And then it wants the row labels, which is the thing we're going to keep in the rows. So that's in A2 to A11. And then it wants the data that we're going to, well, we're going to really unpivot it. I, I should probably call it unpivot. Um, and that's in B2 to Y11. And so what I've, what I've done when I do this is, is I make this little cheat sheet for myself here so that when I go to write the formula, um, uh, I, can, I can do that quickly. And so you can see that um, it's using this flatten function to uh, flatten out all these ranges and basically make them all go in the same direction. And then what split is going to do is it's going to use, we've, we've put in some delimiters here, and we're using a pipe as a delimiter. And so it'll use each of those pipes to know when to put a column in. And so um, what we've, there, there, you'll see there's an ampersand and then quote marks around the pipe and then a, another ampersand. The ampersands are linking the different pieces of, this, of the function together. Um, it's making a giant string basically in here using those ampersands. So we have a range and then the ampersand pulls in the pipe and then another range and then another, it pulls in a pipe and then a range and then there's one more pipe at the end. So you can keep using the same formula over and over. You just put in these three sets of ranges. And now the row labels, again, remember I mentioned that in the other thing, if, what if you had two sets of row labels? What if you had another set of labels that was for every state or something like that? You can have, um, you can include another set in here in the middle after this A2 to A11. You just simply add another um, pipe and ampersand and uh, the ampersand and pipes and that other range, you just add it in here and make the formula a little longer and it'll work. So I'm going to add uh, my equal sign on the front of this and hit enter. And it's going to put all the data down there um, going down. You'll see that the order is a little different because of uh, this is the order we put it in in the um, string. So we could, we could have done it the other way. We could have put that year first and then the other one. Um, either way, uh, just remember that now this is, this is still a formula, so you might want to do a copy-paste special values uh, when you're ready to start looking working at this. 
Um, I'm going to go back to Excel and show you one more thing. So we're back in Excel with the same data. There is a tool, and uh, there's more information about this on my website, um, Tableau, which, um, which needs long data for its, its tool. Uh, back a long time ago when their tool didn't have this kind of function baked right into the tool, they created an extension that you could put into Excel to um, do the conversion from wide to long. And this has saved me over the years many times. Um, so if you have the ability to add an extension to your version of Excel, and again, this is a Windows only thing, um, you can do that and it'll add this um, menu here for you uh, to, to reshape your data. And like I said, the directions are on my website. And this is even more simple than the two things I just showed you, is that you just make sure that your whatever you want to keep as the rows is in the left is all on the left and that because what's going to happen is everything to the right of where you put your cursor is going to get pivoted or unpivoted. Um, so I'm going to put my cursor in the first value that I want to pivot and you simply push this reshape button and it's going to say, are you sure this is what you want to do? Yep, yeah, that's what I want to do. So I say, okay, and it's going to reshape it. It's going to put it in a new um, worksheet and it's going to um, give you column headers. You know, you're going to need to rename your column headers, obviously. But it does the same thing. Um, this works wonders, even with a very, very large data set. I had, um, if it's too large for Excel, it will automatically just create a CSV and export it out to your um, and, and make it uh, possible for you to save it to your desktop. Uh, so, it, if you have a super big data set, this is a, a great way to go. Um, uh, as well. Again, this is a Tableau tool that you can get um, add as an extension to Excel. Thanks for watching.